So. Back again. Um, we've built the Statue of Liberty in the last episode. And there's actually a lot of um, wars going on. So if we just take a look at the relations. So this is us. At the moment we're okay. You know, we've got... We've not, we're pretty much neutral with most people. We're sort of friendly with Shaka just because he was our religion. Um, and we'll see how that gets on because that might drag us into some stuff. Shaka is at war with nearly everyone. William Van Orange was at war with the Romans, who are the most powerful civilization in the game at the moment. But the Romans have won that war after taking Amsterdam and several of the Dutch cities. And the Dutch were quite a powerful civ at one time. Shaka is also at war, as well as with all these vassals of, um, of the Romans, he's at war with Sitting Bull. Now, an interesting thing is, Sitting Bull is also at war with the Romans. You've got like a triangular war going on there. The Americans are also at war with Shaka. They've been at war for ages. Gilgamesh is chilling. He's okay. Never quite trust him, though. Savayaman, again, at war with Shaka. Kubikan, who's a vassal of the Romans, at war with Shaka and Sitting Bull. The Babylonians, again, a vassal of the Romans, at war with Shaka. Sitting Bull, again, this triangular war, at war with Shaka, but is also at war with the Romans. Ethiopians, again, fairly neutral. They're um, sitting in third place at the moment. Mansa Musa. Now, Mansa Musa is reasonably um, small compared to Daphnils and the Romans, but he's the most advanced technologically. And the French are vassalized to the Ethiopians, so again, they don't have a choice but to be at peace with everyone. And you've got the Chinese who are at war with Shaka, so the only people Shaka aren't, isn't at war with is me, and Mansa Musa, and the Ethiopians and, and their vassals, pretty much everyone else, so Shaka's really got a, a hard time at the moment. And these, these wars, the war with the Romans had only just happened. Um, we're keeping an eye, we do want to be the first to communism and we haven't got scientific method yet. Now, the Babylonians are researching communism but they're quite a way off it and I'm trying to keep away from scientific method for as long as possible because I want to maximize the Parthenon and the Great Library which we have running for us at the moment. So, if we see the Babylonians, or anyone else for that matter, picking up stretch speed towards um, communism or physics then we need to double down and because uh, I, I do think we, we are producing a fair bit of science now so fingers crossed we can get there quite quickly okay so Gordian has built that Um, Gordium's actually short of food. So let's build the Apocryphy. Apotheky curry, something like that. Um, yeah, we're in the process we're in the process of fortifying all of our coastal cities. So let's let's upgrade this archer. There's another one here which Yeah, I think we can afford to upgrade him. But look, I mean, look at this, the Romans, I mean, wow. In terms of power, power is your military strength. They really are the most powerful in that, in the, that regard. 
Ethiopians are also ahead of us. Just about. And the Milanese, apparently. Is that the Milanese? Yeah. I'm surprised at that, I'll be honest. Especially because they've not had a lot of fighting. So, you're going to build a security bureau next turn. That should uh, produce a fair bit of um, espionage. Because that's in the capital. So that should be multiplied a little bit. Okay, so we don't need happiness buildings in the capital. Um, because we have the Globe Theatre there, of course. So, what do we do? Do we start building more military, or do we... Maybe just pop out a couple of Islamic ministry, mil, missionaries. Maybe it's a bit of a luxury at this stage. I should be really sorting out my military now. Especially my navy, really. Do a couple of these. Um, Bactra. Yeah, let's uh, let's get this guy built. You can go out and uh, indoctrinate some people. How is Shaka doing? So we gave Shaka a couple of texts to try and help with these wars. We gave him gunpowder. Um, and we gave him... We gave him nationalism actually as well. Just so he could draft some units really quickly. Keep building musketmen. Should I aim to expand elsewhere? No, you know what? He's got a lot of Confucianism. I want to really try and cement um, his Islamic status. So yeah, let's go Bulawayo. So we should get steam power next turn, which is interesting because we haven't got steel yet. So I'm not quite sure how that works, but... And that's going to be the modern... No, the industrial era by the change of music. You want us to adopt free market? You know, it probably would be for the best, but... I don't really want the anarchy. But I kind of like the extra great people. It kind of fits with representation, I think. You might be right, but... Okay. What would make this deal work? I can't do that. Are you researching uh, steam power or something? So anyway, I can see that. You would make a ship sail against the wind. Because we can build uh, levees now. Bonfire under her deck. I have no time for such nonsense. Yeah, levees could be good. Um, military science might let us build ships of the line, which could be good if um, we have to face frigates. So, yeah. Oh wow. Um, what did I just spot? So I thought someone else was researching communism, but I keep seeing that nationalism symbol and thinking it's communist. Okay, so a levy would be good here. A levy will mean all these river tiles produce extra production. Mm. 
Yeah, and you as well. And you. Levies are good. And we do have coal. We have instant access to coal as well, so that's good. That, that'll be good for the ironworks, which we should get soon. So why wouldn't the Milanese take... What would you give me for this then? Yeah, no, no, I don't want scientific method. Why won't you accept steel? I'd have thought that would be a decent, decent trade for you. Okay. Well, maybe we'll steal it off you soon. go to that caravel. Right, so where else needs musketmen? You've got one. Um, yeah, here needs one. These lumber mills are probably... The other lumber, lumber mills I'll keep, but eventually probably change these lumber bills to uh, forest preserves because again as I say a ghillie I've, I've long had in mind making that the national park <laughs> which um, should do quite well for uh, to help maybe Persepolis and a ghillie can sort of alternate great people So the Babylonians are getting closer. I'll have to seriously think about switching to scientific method soon. Um, what government are you running, Zara Jacob? I want to know if I can spread religion. Um, Zara Jacob. Organized. Okay, so let's let's send you over here. dangerous. Mansa Musa has declared on Shaka, so everybody, literally nearly nearly everybody in the game is at war with Shaka. My word. I want to try and do something to help him. We could do with horses. I don't know how much chemistry would help him, to be honest. So he's, I mean, he can't build grenadiers. I can't give him...
can have optics. <laughs> okay. Fine. Well, good luck. What are all these Romans doing around here? Bloody hell. I don't particularly want the Romans in this neck of the woods, I'll be honest. Probably haven't quite got enough. So they've still got the big stack over there in Amsterdam. Okay, well I can only do so much I suppose. I'll try to do it for steel, but he doesn't seem to want to. Okay, so we're making good progress on that courthouse now. Not quite sure how we're producing six production. Oh, he's pumping it. Okay, we're just getting loads of citizens. Okay, well that's probably quite clever. Can't do it, mate. Not yet. Okay, so we've offended the Romans, which we uh, have to think long and hard before doing. Sousa's losing food. Okay, so you can come back. See, so yeah, it does look like they're making good use of nationalism, because uh, see the size of Bulawayo. So I think they are whipping out the musketmen, so hopefully that's helped. That's a Musa, look at that. I think they're really starting to feel pushed though. They're on the brink of losing some cities, you can sort of tell. Just fighting on so many fronts I think for them. Didn't realise Sitting Bull had the city here. I mean, really, Snake Town might be handy for me. It's uh, it's got copper, which I I don't actually have. keep talking about this but I don't tend to uh, have not really got involved in any wars yet ok 
Okay, so Angothom. Where is that? That's up here. So the Ethiopians keep uh, plugging away in that war as well. Romans are about to get rifling in six turns. Which again, you know, is going to make them really powerful. So, I don't know if we'll ever be able to defeat the Romans militarily. Maybe when we have nukes, maybe then we'll have a shout. Because, I mean, we're producing quite a few musketmen at the moment, you know, but we're not making any dent in them. Um, so, they, they're obviously producing more. Upgrade a couple of these guys, or one of those guys. No, my Zulus are my friends. So again, more unhappiness in the Zulu lands, which indicates they are using draft. Don't raise the incense, whatever you do. My word, um, I worry that Sitting Bull is going to fall. Okay, so that's um, military science. I must study politics and war, that my sons may have liberty to study mathematics and philosophy. What next? Um, I'm thinking, all being well steel, they're still quite a way off um, communism, the Babylonians. Still would allow us to build the ironworks finally. So I wonder if I ought to be start working on a navy. I'm now holding off building these while I'm work while I'm uh, running mercantilism. Yeah, let's start building a few naval units. asking. Um, what about rifling? What would make that deal work? No, he won't. He usually likes trading techs as well, but I suppose he feels rifling and steel are just too 
too much. Of course I've not got open borders. Will you have open borders? No, you won't. That was a wasted trip, wasn't it? Um, who else have we got open borders with around here? The French? What form of government do you have? Free religion. Okay. Let's sail to France. Uh, do we not have open borders? I thought we did have open borders with the French. Yeah, we do. So why can't I... Um... Oh, of course, because I'm selecting the, the missionary. Yeah. Sail to France. Turned into a great voyage, that. Okay, so we're the most cultured. I'm not terribly surprised. We've built a fair few wonders. Okay, um, maybe another musketman. But one more musketman each, and then we'll think about some mounted units. Guess. Okay, so, I mean, there's a few units still need upgrading, but we've got a, a reasonable force in all, most nearly all of our coastal cities now. Not this island down here, but I think we'd be pretty unfortunate if someone invaded there. And we'd see it coming, assumedly, if we're paying attention. Which, to be honest, sometimes we do take our eye off the ball, but... Wall Street for 18 turns will help as well with the economy. Worst case scenario is the um, Native Americans and the Zulu fall to the Romans. That would sort of leave us feeling really isolated. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to try and build a bit of a mobile fleet. Not quite yet, I'll upgrade those to galleys in eternity. going on up here but geez they're on the brink aren't they really maybe I should give them some units but then if I was gonna go to that extent I mean maybe I should just be taking a, a hand but then it would be such a 
a move to mesh, mesh with Rome. I'll be honest, I'm a bit scared of Rome. Is that someone going for biology? The Romans. Yeah. Uh, Do you get anything for biology? Biology. No, you don't get anything in particular, but it does indicate they could they could found a corporation. I think. Yeah, construct and construct Sid Sushi. But that they'd need a a great engineer for that. I'm not that worried about that, I can always go state property. Um but yeah, I think I'm close to the point where I need to get scientific method. So maybe when I get steel I should think about it. ship of the line and if I promote that via navigation it's a shame to lose that farm but anyway I like to try and make sure the ships of the line if possible can keep up with the frigates which you, you have to uh, upgrade them for that let's upgrade these two galleons as well otherwise they're pointless So militarily, we're in, uh, well, we're pretty much on a par with the Ethiopians and the Milanese, but the Romans were way behind. Okay, so it looks like they've seen off that little threat. It was looking a bit shaky around here. I think the uh, musketmen definitely helped them. Native Americans are a threat to us all. Are you sure? Have you met them? <laughs> okay, uh, let's focus on some mounted units. Although perhaps I should wait till I can uh, book cavalry or cuirasses for that. I don't really want to spend more gold than I have to upgrading them. Yeah, something to be said for that. So let's just build a few more musketmen then. Never hurts to be safe. Send him here. Mm -hmm. 
Should give him chemistry, I think. At least then, um, you know, maybe navally you can uh, put up a fight. We've got a lot invested in the Zulu. Okay, so we've got um, the French going for communism as well now. Uh, again, they're a long way off it. So, okay, so you finally made France. Now come back home. Might turn you into a frigate. <laughs> they finally found that spy. Oh well. Wall Street's going to be huge for my economy. Surprised the uh, Native Americans are still hanging on. I suppose the fact they're on a hill really helps, and they do have uh, a lot of promotions, like city defence promotions. But still, I'd have thought if you were to fling those trebuchets at them. Got a little fleet here, one more galleon, and then could maybe have a a look at taking the island to the south. <laughs> London. Let's build frigates. Um, I'm reluctant to build a ship of the line because it won't get the navigation promotion. I think because uh, I don't have a great general in London. So let's just go frigate. Not even sure. Anyway. Skipman. Well, walls are going to be obsolete soon, so... It'll be a harbour. Give me about a century before we build it. Yeah, sorry, I, I was forgetting that, um, okay, more wars, I was forgetting that uh, I'll only get two points 
so I won't even get navigation actually but anyway I can build towards it so I'll maybe hold off building too many ships of the line until I can build a dry dock People are building physics, right? Okay, I, I, this isn't a joke anymore. I need to. I need scientific method. And right on cue. I'm not sure I want to trade with you though. Before that steam drill shall so who me is down, the I'll least advanced tech? In my I wonder that. Um, least advanced sieve that has scientific method. Just go there for now, I'll probably change that in a second. Yeah, so we're going to build the ironworks here as we've planned for a long time. Monasteries are going to be obsolete very shortly, so there's really no point building that. Maybe a university. There we go. The Milanese have captured that city. Because they have rifles. Wow. Rifles are a bit of a game changer. I'm not going to lie. Maybe if I gave you military science you could build grenadiers. God, I'm going all out here for you. Right, let's think who we want. So we want scientific method and we want it now. Um will trade to Gilgamesh, potentially. Romans, obviously, but probably the Dutch. But again, they're vassals of Rome. Ethiopians, Mansa Musa. And the French. Let's talk to the French. going to get better than that. Let's talk to the Milanese at least. Um, the Milanese have an extra tech, so potentially. No, you won't even, you won't even do it. Okay, let's do it for the French. See what a devastating it is. Uh, we've lost a I fair bit of science there. I believe that the same God who has endowed us with sense, reason, and intellect has intended us to forego their use. Okay, now I don't think I want to go assembly line. I think we want to go physics. So it's good to know we have oil. Can't use it yet. 
It's good to have. So I think people are going to get physics before they get communism. So, with that in mind, let's rethink. You get the great scientist for uh, physics. 20 turns or 14 turns. Okay, we'll go physics. I want one scientific method now that I've ruined my economy with it. Let's build some cannon, I guess. So, um, let's send... So these these units now, I'm going to send down here. I'm going to think about taking that Milanese city. And finally getting those whale. Shaka's cannon, that's good. Should I give him rifle? Have I I've got rifling now, right? No, maybe I don't. No, I don't have rifling, okay. Okay, I want the dry dock, definitely, so that I can build adequate ships to the line. Yeah. Uh, build a jail. So probably, the days of spreading Islam are probably over now. Um, we've got it in quite a lot of cities. Probably going to focus on building proper, proper naval units and uh, beefing up our military. Because I have a feeling it won't be long before we're at war. Dry dock if I'm going to be building uh, naval units. Uh, cannon. So you can go. You just go to sleep in there. So we want a lot of um, naval units sort of stationed around the place. So you can wait there. You go and sit in the city. Just in case we get sneak attacked. Look, 
upgrade you while I'm at it. I think. So how are you doing now, Luke? So you've got a couple of grenadiers kicking around. You spread very thinly. Yeah, it's that city there. Build the Oxford University now. I think we're thinking about Sousa for that initially. I'll have to review that though. York also might be a good shout. It's all kicking off. Look at all those wars, and I'm not in any of them. I mean, the fact we've been building these military units is probably okay. It's probably um, a good part of that. <coughs> wow. So the Romans have captured a city over here. That city's fallen a couple of times, I think. I'm sure the Ethiopians have taken that. I think the um, the Kaima may be about to fall, and the problem is for them because they have a vassal in the Chinese. They can't vassalize. So they could just end up getting nearly wiped out. At least he'll keep the Romans occupied for a while. Babylonians are going to be gutted when we beat them to communism. They've been working on that for so long. ship of the line in that case. And we've got a courthouse down there, that's good, that'll save us some money. Uh, next thing, we should, whatever we build next, I think we, it needs to be a specialist building. I mean, 
the forge would let us uh, an engineer. I mean, it'd take ages to build, though. I, build, I mean, everything's going to take an age to build. Let's just go to the forge, and then theoretically, we might be able to turn a citizen into an engineer, and then might get some production that way. If we were running universal suffrage, um, we could buy stuff in those cities, but I don't think it's worth it. I think the extra science from all of our great people is uh, more valuable. No, never. So you are no longer pleased towards us, which makes me feel a bit more happy about um, the fact that I'm probably about to declare war on you. Yeah, you can build the Oxford University. Starting to cut it a bit fine on the um, getting physics and communism first fronts because it's got 11 turns to physics and then let's say 15 turns to communism. I'm doing it by a handful of turns at the moment. I just hope they don't boost up their science rate. The Babylonians. We might have to do the same if they do. Although Oxford University again should help, and have we just built the um, Wall Street? That does help. We can probably boost up our science rate easily now. Treacherous Native Americans. It's starting to turn into a real cold war this now. Let's build... Um, Dry dock. Just think, if we do ever have to go all-out war, we're going to need the production facility uh, abilities. Okay, it's really hotting up, so I think this is a good time to end this episode. In the next turn, we're finally, finally going to go to war. Might only be a little war, but the way the world climate is, I mean, it wouldn't take much to escalate. <laughs>